All right, back to AP Calculus AB. AP Cal AB, this is what I know. I know that on the AP exam, on the free response, and especially on the multiple choice problems, you're going to have a chance to do use substitution, and you're going to have to notice patterns. And I hope that you're watching my videos because I'm trying to show you as many patterns as possible because they tend to run kind of the same. So let's look at this one. I look at this for a second, and I'm wondering, possibly, is this an ln of x problem? So to be an ln of x problem, that I would have, we would have to agree that this is the function at the bottom, and this is its exact derivative at the top, and that's just not true. Um, there are some other patterns which we've discussed. I wondered, can I partition this and put it over this and do something with it? But I, we can't. So I'm going to try some u substitution here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this x plus 4 here, and I'm going to call this x plus 4 u. So I'm just going to start off with a little bit of u substitution. So let u equal x plus 4. And then I'll take the derivative of u with respect to x, and the derivative of x plus 4 is 1. And therefore, if I multiply both sides by dx, right, I'd get dx here would cancel this one, and dx times 1 would be dx. So du is equal to dx. And then I'm going to kind of start setting this up and see what I have so far. So what I have so far is I have 2x plus 1. And that underneath that, I have square root of u. And this dx, right, dx is du. So I can go ahead and replace this. What usually happens, no, that's not true. Not what usually happens. What would happen in a perfect world is that we would get something here underneath here in the denominator. would get rid of this 2x plus 1. But it didn't work out well for us. So we have to strategize and say, well, what can we do? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say x is the problem that I'm having. I would like to have the whole function in terms of u. So I'm going to look over here at my u, at my u statement, and I have that same x is here. So I'm going to go ahead and solve for x. So I'll add negative 4 to both sides, and then I would be able to say with some certainty that x is the same as u minus 4, right? So look what that does for us now. I'm going to take this, and it says x is u minus 4. So I'm going to take, I'm going to rewrite this a little bit. But I'm going to take this out, and I'm going to say, you know what? 2x, but x is u minus 4. So 2u minus 4 plus 1 all over square root u du. Um, I don't know if you get it or not, but this is a real victory for us. Because we know if we can get this thing in the form of the indefinite integral of f of u, du, then that kind of gives us the green light to start differentiate, I'm sorry, to start integrating into the form of parent f of x plus c. So we're not there yet, but we're getting a darn sight closer, aren't we? So all I'm going to do is this. I'm going to keep simplifying, so I'm going to go ahead and simplify this. I'm going to go ahead and simplify this, and by simplifying, we're just going to do that algebra 1 stuff that you did when you were in third grade, right? because I know what kind of people are watching this video. So, that's good, that's good. So we have the indefinite integral. 2 times u is 2u, isn't it? 2 times negative 4 is negative 8, plus 1 over square root u, du. Going to go ahead and keep simplifying. Negative 8 plus 1 is negative 7. From here, I'm going to partition. I'm going to partition this, right? That is an O, I swear it is. I'm going to partition this. What I'm saying is this. If we have 1 plus, uh, one fifth plus 2 fifths, we have 1 plus 2 over 5, don't we? And reflexively, we also, if we have 1 plus 2 over 5, 1 plus 2 over 5, then we can break that down into 1 over 5 plus 2 over 5. So I hope that you're getting the gist of what I'm saying to you, that arithmetically what we're allowed to do here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'm going to take the... Indefinite integral of this, right? This negative sign is this one. This 7 is that one. And, of course, the denominator is the same, right? And if, just to look, because I want to make sure I haven't lost anybody. If we put this back together, we have common denominators here, don't we? We wouldn't add the denominators. We just have 2u minus 7, and there it is, right? And the whole thing, du. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not, but this is victory because we have that. We have f of u du, which means we can start to integrate. Before we do that, 
have to simplify a little bit more. So we get this, we get 2. This is 2 halves, isn't it? This is 1 half, so this is u to the 1 half, right? Minus 7. The square root is in the bottom, so that can come up as a negative exponent, can't it? And that gives us this du. Now we're in integratable form. And from there, this thing should get really good. Because I'm going to go ahead and start to integrate here. We get 2 u to the 3 halves, right, over 3 halves, minus 7 u to the 1 half over 1 half plus c. I don't know how that does that sometimes. Anyway, keeping in mind as we simplify that this thing comes up as its reciprocal, as does this. So in its simplest form, we'd have not 3 halves times 2, but 2 thirds, which would give us 4 thirds u to the 3 halves minus, right, this is not going to come up as 1 half, but as 2. So 2 times 7 is negative 14 u to the 1 half plus c. And I'm offering you that as my answer. So I hope this is helpful. Again, it's going to be, I, I said today in class that there, there won't be time for you to figure stuff out on the AP exam. What there will be time for you to do is say, what pattern is this? So you have to have a good start. You have to have some patterns in your head. And this is one of them. And just to remind you quickly, this is that pattern where you look and you're like, what in the, am I going to do? Right? Where this thing up here is not the derivative of the bottom and that there's no way to simplify this thing out. All right? So, hope the video was really helpful. If there's something I can do for you, some question that you have or clarification, please make a comment. If there's something I can do better, comment, uh, <laughs> comment on that also. Um, hopefully, you're subscribed to my channel. And also, you can follow me at C, on Twitter at C. Lindelof. At C. Lindelof. And I'd love to see you there. Um, ciao.